You are watching TFI. Greetings, salutations, welcome to TFI. Now, please humour me as I descend into unnatural levels of enthusiasm because I'm as proud as an Andy Ruiz Jr. punch to tell you about something that you might have had no idea even existed, mate. Never mind, was actually out there being used. Uh, indeed, today's video is a very rare TFI-sponsored exhibit of a revolutionary CFD, FEA, and thermal simulation technology, which for starters, mate, is completely free, so I'm not here to sell you out. Uh, it's, it, it's free to use in its absolute fullest, works with almost every CAD platform and runs entirely inside your web browser. Yes! Production ready, multidisciplined engineering simulation for free that runs all in a web browser. I mean, that's got to be worth at least a listen, hasn't it? Well, let's start by hearing the name, and it's SimScale. And the whole point of this video is to just simply let you know that it exists, that it's an option, and it's a free one at that. And then you can go and just give it a go yourself. In fact, you can actually sign up from scratch and be using SimScale in less time than it took for us to actually deliver this intro. Right, mate, I'm going to talk about the advanced subscription plans towards the end of the video, but just so there's no confusion, you can indeed use all of their simulation tools, the entire arsenal, for commercial use as well, at no cost whatsoever, with no daft watermarks or trickery like that applied. Uh, but what is SimScale, mate? Well, SimScale was founded in 2012, and it's based out of Munich, sporting that German precision engineering Vorsprung der Technik vibe. It's the world's first production-ready software-as-a-service application for engineering simulation, and they've amassed an impressive impressive 150,000 strong user base to date with a glowing reputation backing it up with I mean monumentally Goliath clients like Arup, Larson & Tubro, WSP, Johnson & Johnson amongst others who are now leveraging SimScale into their workflows. But how does it all work mate? Well there's three steps that you need to go through. You start by uploading your own CAD model or you can duplicate one of the thousands of publicly available projects as like a template for you to start playing with. That'll then drop it into the SimScale scale browser based viewport in full 3D ready for step 2 which is to then set up your analysis using their simulation designer and there's tons of tutorials built in to get you up to speed and the project tree on the left does a really good job of guiding you through what you've got to do next and it's here where you can then choose the simulation analysis type out of the many 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 options that are available you can simulate wind tunnel style compressible flow CFD for aerospace or automotive airflow analysis there's incompressible wind comfort studies for urban developments or individual wind load tests as shown here on Dubai's Burj Khalifa building uh, for the more traditional FEA simulation you can opt for the linear or non-linear static analysis, which is typically used to determine displacement and stresses from load forces. And a fascinating example of that, which I found, is this replicated simulation of a titanium cord Formula One halo crash protection safety device, which the Mercedes AMG F1 technical chief James Allison once famously said you could balance an actual double-decker London bus on and it would withstand the forces. Well, here it is in SimScale as a public project. You can go see for yourself what it actually takes to break one of these things. And there's also dynamic analysis, which simulates inertia forces and damping effects. Speaking of the halo, or in this case, lack of, the dynamic analysis can be ideal if you'd like to see what happens to your head if it's hit by an object at great speed, uh, if you're into that kind of thing. Or for the less morbid mind, there's numerous ways in which you can simulate product drop tests, such as electronic devices like smartphones or impact tests for drones or literally anything that needs to be checked for impact damage. SimScale can also simulate other environmental effects, such as smoke propagation in both open and confined spaces, localized building scale or vehicular HVAC, conductive heat transfer. Mate, I could spend hours showing you all the fascinating projects that are up here, but straight up, man, I don't need to. There's tons more than what I've just mentioned. Now, you can browse these just as easily as I am yourself. I'll put a link in the description of the public projects page, and you can just scout through them in your own time. Top tip, though, uh, try using the industry or analysis type filters on the right to show the things that are of a particular interest to you. So step one was to import your model or copy a project. Step two was choose Using and then setting up your simulation and step three is to run and view your results and SimScale lets you visualize your results in their post-processing environment or you can download the study locally and then open it up in a third-party post-processing system of your choice. All right and so that's a very brief overview of what this service has to offer and I've barely scratched the surface there of what it can do but my main goal here is to just 
simply let you know that it exists. But let's talk about the subscription models. Yes, SimScale is free. You can access and use everything that I've just talked about right this second for both personal and commercial use completely free of any charge. But come on, mate, nobody can deliver and continuously develop and support something like this without it bringing in some kind of an income. I mean, you guys all work in the professional space. You know how it is. So the free access to SimScale falls under their community plan. You get access to all the simulation features. All simulation projects you do are classified as public and visible on the SimScale site. And that's what I've been showing you over the last five minutes. But wait, I know what you're thinking at this point. And I know you can't have your proprietary project shown on a public site, but here's the thing, mate. Think of the community plan as like an onboarding training exercise. Nobody's gonna be signing up and on day one knock out perfect simulations which are project ready. You're gonna need time to scope it out, mate. You're gonna have to get used to it, figure out the workflows, learn it. The community plan is literally perfect for that. Almost like an unlimited free learning period. Or if you're a student, mate, you just don't you just don't know how good you guys have got it these days man anyway this the community plan also gives you up to 16 dedicated cloud server processing cores with 3000 hours of computational solving time which is 125 full days of a cloud server working for you that's not like a timer ticking away whilst you're logged in and setting up that's 3000 hours of their servers doing what they need to do to generate simulation results uh, just one more thing on the community plan though you do get 3000 hours but that's if you were using one server core uh, the fact that you can use up to 16 server cores on the community plan means that uh, if you were to use all of those cores at all times for all your simulations you'd actually get 3,000 divided by 16 worth of hours on the community plan which is 187.5 hours uh, which is still oodles of time that's the free plan then they have the professional plan which is chargeable this is how they make their money obviously but your projects on the professional plan plan and now obviously private and visible to only you. You get access to more cloud resource for running simulations faster with more data storage amongst many other things and finally there's the enterprise plan designed for multi-user access with a named account manager also for higher levels of assistance and support designed for those bigger clients. So with respect to pricing on the paid plans, it's tailored per customer. You'll pay for how many core hours you want. And it's, I mean, it's never wise to mention pricing in a video like this because it can change numerous times over the duration. But there you have it, mate. SimScale, all of that running purely inside your web browser. The the fact that you can be anywhere in the world on a PC or any laptop accurately simulating the wind load on the Burj Khalifa building or doing wind tunnel simulations on a Boeing 777 is just, it's a glowing tribute to what's possible today. And now that you know that, well, I'll consider my job here done. So thanks very much to SimScale for reaching out to set up this sponsored exhibit. Links in the description if you want to sign up yourself. Please be sure to drop a comment on this video if you do sign up because I'd love to know how many people gave it a shot and what you think of it. All right, that's all I've got. Thank you very much for watching this. Good luck and enjoy your time with SimScale. I can't wait to get over there and stop messing about with that Halo man. I found it whilst I was editing this and I'm just itching to get over there. I'm going to edit this video and go straight over there and stop playing with that. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time. Toodle. Thank you.